Hey everybody, Pat Armstrong here, and I wanted to make this video real quick. Um, uh, if y'all, many of you remember uh, a few weeks ago, uh, a couple months ago, I put a video together um, about running. Uh, about a year ago, I'd started an exercise program where I started running and uh, being more conscien conscientious. Is that the right word? Uh, anyway, about um, taking care of myself, eating better, exercising, and things like that. And uh, so I put a video out there. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. Um, back around the holidays, when the holidays were uh, over, um, I put a video together uh, after I'd come back from a run. It had been a while since I'd run, so I'd gone out. Now I forget how many miles I'd actually run that day, six miles or something like that. felt great. Shared that with all of you and uh, got some great feedback on that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, on... Facebook. I had given many of you just updates on my progress and uh, over the last year I've lost about 25 pounds and uh, I'm up to running about 10, 11, 12 miles now. Well, run, walk, I, I got to be truthful there. It's not all running. I wish it was, but it's not. Um, but as I've given updates on that, uh, one comment was made from a longtime friend of mine, uh, Sandy Trambarger Hunt, way out in California. Uh, one time when I put a, a, a note on Facebook, her question was, what? No video? And uh, so that got me to thinking. I thought, you know, something I wanted to do for a long time, because uh, as many of you know, um, I was in the ministry for 24 years, uh, 17 years as a youth pastor and music director, and then seven years um, as a pastor in a small church out in Kansas. Uh, well, the Lord closed that door and uh, gave me an opportunity to work at Dillard's department store. And uh, so I've been there going on six years. And the thought's been on my mind, on my heart, about doing some things ministry-wise uh, even though I'm not part of a church staff, but some things that I can do. And uh, so when Sandy made that comment, I thought, you know what, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I can start doing some video blogging and get the message out there. And uh, so anyway, so what I want to do is a video lifestyle blog for men and the women who love them. And you say, okay, now... First of all, Pat, why in the world would you want to do that? And, uh, well, I've got four reasons. There are four reasons why I feel like I need to do this. Uh, first one is I'm turning 50 this year, and um, that's fantastic. I, I'm so thankful for the 50 years that I've had on this earth. Now, I can look back over the last 50 years, and truthfully, I can say I am a blessed man. Uh, it has been a great 50 years. Uh, of course, there have been down times. Uh, there have been high times. There have been a few regrets along the way. But you know what? Honestly, I can't complain. Uh, the Lord has blessed me with 50 great years. Come June 1st, part of that 50 great years, June 1st, I will be married to Bonnie for 27 years. Now, that just does not seem possible. I do not know how she has put up with me for 27 years. I, I, I don't. She is a fantastic, marvelous person, and I could not be blessed with a, a more wonderful wife. Um, and that's one of the reasons I feel like you say, well, how, how do you feel qualified to do something like this? Well, that's part of the reason being here for 50 years. I mean, I've experienced a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things what not to do. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to share uh, those things over the last 50 years. And also my plan is now, of course, God's plan could be totally different. But my plan is I want to live another 50 years. And uh, so I'm looking forward to the next 50 years to see what I can experience and and learn and, and do. And, uh, and also being married for 27 years, I think there's some uh, things I can glean that I have gleaned from that that I can share with a lot of people. So that's my first thing. Number two is I know, and this is so unfortunate, um, I could actually name people right now that have given up. And I don't understand that. You know, to me, as Charlie Tremendous Jones always said, life is tremendous. And yeah, there are down times. And there are times when... Uh, it's not easy. 
but man, there's so many good times too. And, uh, and I've talked to those that, I mean, it's really unfortunate. I'm talking to people that are in their 20s that have already given up on life and in their 30s and their 40s, people my age, that are just like, there's nothing else to live for. Oh my goodness, there's so much more to live for. I haven't, I haven't been to all 50 states in the United States. I've only been out of the country three times. I've never been to Europe. I mean, there's just so many things that I want to do that I'm going to do in the next 50 years. So how in the world could you say, oh man, it's all over. Life's not worth living. No. And that's another reason why I feel like I need to do this because I want to, to help people to understand life is great. Life is wonderful. Life is tremendous. And there's so much more that we can experience here. The third reason that I want to do this is that you can get online now and you can find all kinds of other lifestyle blogs and uh, especially for men now ladies you have yours too and uh, and they talk about diet and they talk about fitness and they talk about social life and they uh, talk about uh, dress and they talk about grooming and and those things are all fantastic and those are some things that I will share with you uh, as time goes on but one thing that they never really emphasize is the spiritual part. And, and I know why they don't. I, I, one blogger that I follow, he talked about this. He does not talk about politics. He does not talk about religion because he does not want to offend anyone. And, uh, you know, and, and so I understand that. But my thing is you're missing the big picture if you leave out the spiritual part. Now, if they do talk about the spiritual part, they want to talk about meditation. And they want to talk about uh, doing your yoga. And they want to talk about all this kind of mystical whatever. And that's not what spiritual is. And now, uh, and again, I'll tell you where I'm coming from because I am a Christian. And I believe the Bible is the Word of God. And I believe the Bible has the answers to everything that we go through. And uh, so for that reason right there, you can see what angle I'm going to come from coming from the spiritual, from the biblical uh, point of view. Now, right there, I know I have just totally lost a bunch of people because, you know, there are so many religions out there and so many ideas out there, and uh, people don't want to know what the Bible has to say. But, you know what, I figure there, there is not a better place for us to go to than to find the answers to life than in the Bible. And uh, so again, like I said, we're going to talk about all kinds of different things, diet and fitness and social life and grooming and dress and, and all those things. But I also want to put the spiritual aspect in there. And, uh, and then number four, the idea is to bring it all together. I want to, to, you know, one of the bloggers that I follow also, she talks about life in the balance. And I think it's what we need a lot of times. Uh, we need life in, in balance. And uh, so that's the angle we're going to come from, is that, yes, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about the physical part of things. Uh, we're going to talk about the social part of things. We're going to talk about the uh, mental part of things, but we've got to talk about the spiritual part of things, and we've got to have that balance. And uh, so how am I going to do this? As I mentioned before, I'm starting a video blog um, I've actually got a uh, YouTube channel that I'll be posting these on, and I'll give you more information on that in my next video. And uh, but what I'm, my plan is to do one video a week on different subjects. And again, it's going to be uh, uh, on mental things, mental health. Uh, it's going to be on physical health. It's going to be on spiritual health and it's going to be on social health. So it's going to hit one of those things. And my idea is to do one video a week on each of those different topics. Um, no more than 10 minutes. Um, I watch some video blogs sometimes and it's like they get into uh, seven, eight, nine minutes and that's about all I can take and and I know I feel like that I have a pretty healthy um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, I don't obviously my train of thought is just totally gone so uh, anyway my, my focus that I can actually but once watching a video blog once you get up to 10 minutes I'm I'm done uh, unless it's just something that's totally 
totally captivated my attention there. And uh, so no more than 10 minutes. And uh, so here's what I'm asking of you, first of all, that once we get this rolling next week, um, that you will like my videos with a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. That you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like I said, on the next video, I'll give you more information about that and where to go. And then uh, when you go to the YouTube channel, if there's a little bell there, if you'll ring that bell, what that will do is automatically let you know when there's new videos posted to the YouTube channel. And then please feel free to leave comments. And I know one thing about it. I am opening myself up to... Uh, big time criticism here, but that's okay because you know what? I'm still willing to grow. I'm still willing to learn. I want to. 50 years is a long time and I'm going to live another 50 years, Lord willing, and I want to continue to grow and learn over that time. So please leave comments, ask questions. If you have a certain topic that you'd like me to cover sometime, fantastic. Leave that on there too. So and then one thing I ask, share this with others. Uh, when I post this on YouTube, I'm going to tag everybody that I know, but share it with others. And then hopefully I can help someone, you know, whether it be one person, whether it be a hundred people, I would like to, sh I would like to help someone. And if this is the way I can do it, I'm thankful. So thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you next week.